Hi, I'm Simon Weber from the Technical University of Munich, and I'm very glad to speak on behalf of my co-authors, Niklaus Demel, Tin Chon Chan, and Daniel Kremers. I'm going to present our CVPR paper, Power Bundle Adjustment for Large-Scale 3D Reconstruction. The bundle adjustment problem refers to the joint estimation of camera parameters and 3D landmark positions. It is a crucial step in many 3D reconstruction and structure from motion applications. Nevertheless, it has to deal with the emergence of large-scale datasets, with several thousands of poses, for instance in the fields of augmented reality or autonomous driving. We propose to solve large-scale bundle adjustment problem with a power series expansion of the Shure complement. We theoretically prove the convergence of our approach, and we experimentally show that our solvers significantly accelerate the solution of the normal equation even for very high accuracy. But first, let's introduce the power series of a matrix. Let's consider a square matrix M. If all its eigenvalues are smaller than 1, then we can write the inverse of identity minus M as a power series with the spectral norm of the error R bounded and converging to 0 as the order M increases. Let's keep in mind this proposition and let's go back to the bundle adjustment problem. The objective is to minimize the sum F of squared residuals. It is usually solved with a Levenberg-Marquard algorithm based on the first order Taylor approximation of R. Besides, a regularization term lambda is added to improve the convergence and gives the damped linear least squares problem. Minimization leads to the corresponding normal equation. As the system matrix tends to be excessively costly for large-scale problem, it is common to reduce it by using the short complement trick and forming the reduced camera system. Once it has been solved, we back substitute the post delta to get the landmark delta. We propose to link power theory theory and the proposition we have initially described to the bundle adjustment problem. The key idea is to expand the inverse short complement into a power series. To understand how we can do that, let's have a closer look to the short complement S. Let's factorize S with the block matrix corresponding to the post Jacobian's U lambda. And let's take the inverse of this factorization. The straightforward question regarding the power series proposition is to ask if we may expand the first factor of this factorization into a power series. As we want to use the first proposition, we prove that all eigenvalues of the corresponding matrix are smaller than 1. A proof is provided in our paper. And then we can apply the first proposition to get S tilde, an approximation at order M of the inverse Shor complement. From the reduced camera system, we can get an approximation XM of the unknown pause updates. It leads to our second theoretical result concerning the convergence of this approximation to the exact post update when the order M increases. This proposition has two consequences. Firstly, the approximation can be directly obtained by applying the inverse short complement at order M to the right side of the camera reduced system. Secondly, the accuracy of this approximation can be as good as possible if we increase the order M. For a trade-off between a high accuracy and a fast running time, we set a sub-criterion inspired by an exact Newton method. We run two kinds of experiments. Firstly, we directly compare PoBA with the very competitive solver square root BA and series. Secondly, we incorporate our solver into the distributed stochastic framework STBA by replacing its direct solver by our expansion type solver. We compare our solver PoBA in single and double precision to the square root BA solvers and to the implicit and explicit versions of the conjugate gradients of the popular series solver. To compare this set of solvers, we are interested in two factors, a lower runtime and a better accuracy. Performance profiles evaluate both jointly and we plot them for all 97 problems across four different tolerances though. It encapsulates the percentage of BAL problems the y-axis, solved faster than the relative runtime alpha on the x-axis. For each performance profile, a curve upper in the left means better runtime, and upper in the right means better accuracy. The smaller tau is, the more accurate the cost objective to reach is. 
Let's take as an example the performance profile associated to 1% tolerance, meaning a medium accuracy. On the left, we see that our server's PBA clearly outperforms all the other solvers, meaning that PBA is much faster. On the right, PBA in double is upper than the other curves, meaning that it is also the most accurate. For a tolerance of 3 per thousand, meaning a high accuracy, we draw the same conclusion for the speed. Nevertheless, PBA is a little bit less accurate than single square root. Let's have a look on convergence plots for two problems. It clearly appears that PBA is much faster to reach the tolerances represented by dashed gray lines. On these two examples, it also appears that PBA solvers also reach a similar and a better accuracy, respectively. Concerning the memory consumption, it clearly appears that PBA is much less memory consuming than its challengers. It is true for small to medium problems and also for the largest problems. Concerning the stochastic framework, let's highlight that using a power expansion server is faster and more accurate up to the 3 per thousand tolerance. It is particularly impressive for the 1% tolerance. Let's illustrate the outperformance by these two convergence plots, where the power series solver reaches the dashed gray lines representing the tolerance is tau, faster than the original STBA, even if both solvers seem to converge to the same minimum cost. Finally, let's conclude with the main contribution of our paper. We have introduced a new class of large-scale BA solvers built on a power expansion of the inverse Shore complement. We have proved the convergence of such solvers. And last but not least, we have experimentally shown that PBA outperforms competitive iterative solvers in terms of speed, accuracy, and memory consumption up to a high precision tolerance. We provide a link for open source implementation.